Welcome to What The Fix, the spot for fixed income, commodities, and currencies. It's Friday. My name's Ian Cully, and we're talking commodities. Now, a lot going on in the commodity space. Been very vocal about the strength from metals, with precious, and base and industrial, right? And another overarching theme that's really present right now in the market is just a, a general resilience at the index level. So with that in mind, I want to share with you my favorite chart this week. Let's check it out. It's uranium. That's right, the uranium ETF. Now, if we're going to continue to see strength in, in, in copper and gold, if they're going to be printing you know, new, new highs, then that strength is going to spill over into the periphery, right? And, and it's going to spill into areas such as uranium. And you also got to think, well, geez, those energy contracts, I mean, they've been under a lot of selling pressure, but they're still incredibly buoyant. So I really like energy too. So it's kind of a double whammy here, all right? So uranium, back to the chart. Nice reversal formation here, which is completed in the spring of 2021. And since then, the former 2017 high that acted as resistance, that level around 18, 1850 has acted as support. Now, over the past year, year and change, Uranium has been forming a potential falling wedge. Let's zoom in. Now, I'm not crazy about, about diagonal trend lines. I'm not crazy about patterns with, 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 with downward or upward sloping boundaries, right? Reason being, they tend to morph. They tend to continue to churn sideways on a breakout and form a larger pattern. I look at URA and I can see this, this, uh, this falling wedge turning into some sort of rounding bottom, right? That's very, very possible. However, however, I do like how clean the pattern is. Five contact points. And after that fifth contact point, you see this, this bid over the past six months for URA. I like seeing that. The bulls are showing up and it's almost ready to, to, to push momentum over 70 with an oversold reading, right? So as I'm looking for that oversold reading. So despite this, this falling boundary, we do have a couple of levels to trade against, a couple of horizontal boundaries. Now, I like the pivot highs from last November around 22. Now, we can trade against that level, get long against 22, or we can wait for an upside resolution over 24.50, right? That, that's uh, the, the April and the uh, September highs from last year, right? Above those levels or against 22, and I like an initial target of 32 and a secondary objective around 40. Of course, with these metals, with a lot of these commodities, especially URA, it could go much higher. So it's going to be up upward near 55 towards the end of the year. Just something to think about. One of my favorite charts this week. If you enjoyed the video, click the link below, read the article. If you have any questions, reach out at info at All Star Charts. And you can always follow along at Ian Cully on Twitter. Thanks. I'll see you next week.